Hello, I'm Jordan, coming with you today to discuss some battery charging basics. Today we'll be checking out a Spectrum Smart Charger, the S2200, and we'll be using the Dynamite Profit Sport Mini. We'll be discussing a few battery chemistry types and their advantages and disadvantages and how to charge them. Let's take a look. Starting with the Profit Sport Mini Charger, you can notice right on the front, we have four different chemistries that we can charge. Lithium polymer, lithium iron, lithium high voltage, and nickel metal hydride. There are also four different charge rates, starting with one amp, two amps, three amps, and four. This will determine how fast your battery is charged. Let's go ahead and connect the AC adapter to the charger. There we see it light up. And we can connect the included EC3 adapter. We can start by charging a nickel metal hydride pack. This is an 1800 pack. That means we should charge it at a one amp charge rate. If this was a 2000 milliamp pack, we could set it to the two amp rate. But because it's under 2000, we should charge it at just one amp. Plug the battery in and set the chemistry. We clicked it four times to get over to the NIMH side. We can now hold down the button to start charging. Easy as that. We'll see the red light on indicating charge and we'll shine green when it is finished. Nickel metal hydride batteries have been used for years and years in the hobby. They are wonderful for operating vehicles and a great starter pack. If you're just getting into the hobby, I highly recommend using nickel metal hydride batteries. Nickel metal hydride batteries are reliable and affordable and a wonderful way to get started in the hobby. LiPo, also known as lithium polymer batteries, have a greater energy density ratio. They're often lighter weight and excel at providing the energy that power-hungry applications require. This particular battery is a first-generation Spectrum Smart battery, which means even though it has the smart technology, it can still be charged by a basic charger like the Dynamite Profit Sport Mini. Let's give it a try. Plug the Spectrum IC3 plug into the EC3 plug. Even though they are different colors, they are the same size and shape and they will fit. With LiPo batteries, we have to connect the balance lead. This allows the cells in the battery to balance so they will all be at the same consistent voltage. This is very important for lithium polymer batteries. The balance lead on the charger is on the side. We'll see the 3S connection because this is a 3S or 3-cell lithium battery. This battery is a 3200 milliamp. Because it's over 3000 milliamp, we can set the charge rate to three amps. That will give us the fastest safe charge for this charger. Select the correct chemistry by clicking the button. We see we're on LiPo. Now we can hold down the button to begin charging. When charging a lithium polymer battery, you must put it in a LiPo bag.
Once charging is finished, the red LED light will glow green and you can disconnect the battery. Next, let's check out the Spectrum 2200 Smart Charger. Spectrum Smart Chargers and batteries have made lithium battery charging simpler than ever. With a G2 Spectrum battery, such as this, we can simply plug into the charger. The charger will automatically know the settings of the battery and initiate charging. Still, even with the Spectrum Smart Charger, you always want to charge inside a lithium charge bag. When finished, the charge alarm will go off, letting us know that we can remove the battery and that it's fully charged. Let's check out some other settings in the charger. This screen displays the voltage of each cell of the battery. Spectrum Smart Batteries have a chip inside that automatically discharges the batteries to a safe storage level. You can also do that with the charger by going to the storage option. Now that our task on the charger is set to storage, we can go down to start It's now storage charging the battery to get it down to a safe level to be put away. The proper storage level for lithium polymer batteries is 3.6 to 3.9 volts per cell. Some batteries, such as these E-Flight two-cell batteries, often found in UMX airplanes, require an adapter. This is the UMX charge adapter. The link is in the description. This is the IC3 to bullet adapter that is required for the Spectrum Smart Chargers. Also has the link in the description. Start by plugging in the IC3 adapter. And you can then plug in the bullet connectors. Check your polarity. Red to red, black to black. Now, you'll notice we have two connectors left. One is the receptacle for the battery, and the other one is the balance lead that needs to be plugged into the charger. Now that we have the adapter installed, we can plug in the battery. The battery is now being read on the screen. We can see its cell voltage. We can change our task back to charge. Go down to start. And it's now charging our battery. Once battery charging is completed, it will sound an alarm and will indicate the battery is completely charged. Always know which adapters your batteries require and use them accordingly. This Spectrum Smart Charger has two outlets, one for IC5 or EC5 plugs and another for IC3 or EC3 plugs. A LiPo checker is an invaluable tool for you to have with you at the flying field. You can plug in your battery and it will give you the real-time information of that battery. If there's a problem with your battery, your cell checker will let you know. 
For storage options, you can keep your batteries in your Lyco safe bag or ammo cans or other fireproof metal boxes are an ideal choice for storing your batteries. With this particular can, we had to remove the seal or gasket that was around the edge. You don't want an airtight seal for your battery storage. Thank you for watching this battery charging video. I hope it was informative and helps you on your RC journey.